Hi everyone. So today I have an amazing workflow. This new model is called Float and it helps to convert any single image of a headshot into a talking video and you can upload your own audio. So it lip syncs with that particular image and the best part is it is not uh, like previous some models it is not just masking out the lips and animating it you can see the whole head moving the eyes and everything expression so it looks pretty realistic and i have added some extra notes to make it more smoother and everything i'll explain everything one by one but the best part of this video is going to be that i'll also show you a way to create unlimited ai voices and these are comparable and i think in some cases way better than 11 labs as well all of it is completely free presents a shift from previous equal property division rules as you can see so let's get started and firstly we'll start with creating the ai voices as you can see this is the google's ai studio right and here they recently released this generate speech feature where you'll find two options there is gemini 2.5 flash preview tts and then there is gemini 2.5 pro preview tts i have found both of them work very well but i have seen in some cases pro uh, slightly performs better but in most of the cases you would not be able to tell the difference both are very good and here you can see there is an option for multi speaker and this is something like uh, to create like uh, talking between two people so if you have used the notebook lm before you it kind of creates that podcast style interview style uh, audio right you can select the speaker name you can change the speaker name you can select any voices that you want but today we are interested in this single speaker audio and here you can see there are many voices so there is the model setting for the temperature but generally i do not like to change it and here there are many voices some of which you can listen ready to build something awesome today what do you want to explore what's a skill you'd like to develop what kind of masterpiece are we aiming for what idea do you want to bring to life what kind of masterpiece are we aiming for So as you can see that these are very high quality images uh, uh, high quality voices sorry and the thing is the expression and the emotion is also there so uh, I'll play What this one What problem could we solve This is something which I like this particular voice so now this is one headline that I recently found out so I just copy pasted this and then I'll click on run and you can see that the generation is complete you will get this audio here so for the preview china introduced new divorce property laws where assets belong to whoever paid for them rather than being equally divided this represents a shift so you get the idea right now if you click here you can directly download or you can change the playback speed so i'll download this one right i have downloaded the, something very similar and now Let's come back to our Comfy UI, and from here you can directly select it. So you can upload the audio, and that's it. For the image, I created it using uh, the Chat GPT. So this is a headshot that I created, and that is all you need. So basically, what I'm doing is that it works well with yeah. only square yeah. images. That is what I have seen. So I this. This actually is the square image but I have added this resize it crops from the top and uh, just makes it square. So if you have any other kind of like portrait which is not exactly square so it will just crop it out. And you can see this reference image is coming to the float process this particular node. When you import this particular workflow you will find these missing uh, nodes here. You can install the missing custom nodes. So currently there are no uh, missing nodes but if you have you will find it here and you can directly install and then restart it Now with that being said here you can see you can take the reference image the audio is coming here 
the audio is also going directly to the video combine so the final output has the audio right and from here you'll get the float pipe first time when you run this workflow this float pth file will download automatically you do not need to do anything and here is the seed here is the control for the seed and emotion i have generally seen that uh, by default it is on none if you want you can select any other emotion but rather than choosing none i have seen neutral is better if you do not want any other emotion then neutral works uh, slightly better than none that is what i have noticed also the default values for this uh, these are actually 2 1 and 1 but uh, i was playing around with the values and i found this uh, to be working with what i want and with that you can see new divorce property laws where assets belong to whoever paid for them rather than being equally divided. So it is very high quality, very good. And here you can actually control the FPS. So I am generating 30 FPS here and the frame rate is directly coming here. So you do not need to change anything because the frame rate is going to the video combine as well as the frame rate is going FPS to the float process node. Now, one thing that you would notice that this is actually very good, but it looks a little bit janky. Like there are slight cuts. It feels like, like there are cuts, jumps, small. So to fix that, what I did was I am taking the images from this node, adding slight grain. This is just to make it realistic. If you want, you can skip this as well. Color match. You can skip both of these and then this particular node. So for this node multiplier is two and you can see all of these settings, right? And then this is going to the images video combine. The frame rate is 60 from 30. It is becoming 60. One thing you should always remember, whatever this FPS is, you have to put it double like you cannot put 24 frames here and then make it 60 because then there can be a slight delay with the audio and video right so what it does is that if you look at both of these this actually reduces the jankiness because it is interpolating the in between frames to make it 60 but still the length remains same so making it slightly smoother and the audio remains same so now with audio rates and an aging population China introduced new divorce property laws where assets belong to whoever paid for them rather than being e and the original one laws where assets belong to whoever paid for them so you can understand there is a difference between frame rate and slight jumps so it smoothens it out and uh, it feels more natural so this was the whole workflow and now if you have any kind of doubt or any kind of question then put it in the comment section below and i'll try to reply as soon as possible you'll get all the links in the description thank you